Series 1 is uh, 35 uh, billion naira that uh, we plan for, uh, but uh, we felt that anything up to half of that is uh, comfortable for us because if you look at the purpose of uh, the medium term loan that we are raising, uh, it's uh, such that we actually do not need so much amount of money at this point in time. One, what are the purposes? One, we need to strengthen our balance sheet because uh, we want to improve on our capital adequacy ratio and uh, any amount in excess of 10 billion will serve the purpose. The second one is to enable us to continue with our African expansion and uh, it's not significant amount of money that is required. The third one is also to enable us uh, uh, drive our expansion with respect to the delivery channels and uh, finally on our IT infrastructure. So for us, 20 billion is much more than a success for us. We actually raised more than that. We raised uh, close to about 35 billion, but that 35 billion, uh, a lot of that are in excess of 13%. So we cut off at 13% and that's what gave us the 20 billion. It's been two months since you took over as the new CEO of UBA. What changes can we expect from your tenure at the helm? That uh, actually you can look at uh, from two perspectives. One is uh, the immediate changes. The second one is uh, the long-term plan. Uh, in terms of the immediate changes, in line with the CBN reforms, we have been cleaning up our books, so we will just continue on that. And in doing that, uh, we are talking of making adequate provision. We are talking of recovery, embarking on major recovery drives. And uh, finally, we are also talking of uh, booking top quality risk assets, mostly at the high end of the market, which is exactly what we are doing currently. Now, in the long term, we will end up uh, uh, executing our three-tier strategic intent. One is uh, to be a dominant leader in Nigeria in terms of financial services. The second one is to continue to be a leader in the African sub-region in terms of financial services. And the third one, which is the third tier intent, is uh, to have some strong global footprints in uh, major financial centers all over the world. The CBN announced new banking licensing rules that ended the era of universal banking in Nigeria. What are UBA's plans with regards to this? Are you embracing holding company structure as an international bank, or do you plan to sell your non-banking subsidiaries? We are not going to sell the non-bank subsidiaries. We are actually going by way of uh, HODCO. And uh, we have considered that and uh, got, uh, gotten approval at the board level to go by way of a uh, holding company. And uh, what we are going to do is that the non-bank subsidiaries we have, we are going to put them under a bucket and they will be under the holding company. And the UBA PSC will also be under the holding company. We're also looking at the possibility of having the African businesses into another bucket as part of the holding company. We are going to keep all our subsidiaries. We are not going to sell any of them. What are your thoughts on new banking licensing rules? What impact do you think they're going to have on the banking business landscape? Well, I, I think there will be a lot of changes. We've been through this uh, you know, previously in the past where we had very low capital requirement for the banks. And uh, a lot of banks we had uh, then prior to the consolidation in 2005, we had uh, 89 banks. And uh, by the time of consolidation, we were left with uh, 24, 25 banks. I believe that uh, it's going to lead to proliferation of uh, banks and licenses. We are going to have a lot of them that may decide to focus on regional, on regional and operating within a small location. And then we are going to have others that are going to operate uh, across the entire nation. And uh, again, we are going to have uh, others that uh, we operate up to international level, which is uh, what UBA is uh, going for. What's the update on your Pan-African strategy? What we are going to do is to continue to strengthen and consolidate our investment in the various African countries. Today, we have our presence in 18 countries. And out of these 18 countries, they have uh, all started, uh, most of them have started contributing into the, to the bottom line. By middle of this year, uh, June uh, 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 2010, the total contribution coming from the African countries was, in terms of uh, revenue, was about 12% to the total group. 
and in terms of deposit, about 10 percent. We are going to see more contribution coming from them. Uh, we will not uh, review the plans, we will rather strengthen them. And we believe that uh, because uh, quite a lot of them are relatively young, under two years, we believe that uh, as time goes by, they'll be able to break even. And as a matter of fact, I think uh, over 50% of them have been able to break even and are contributing positively to the bottom line. So what we will do is to continue to reinforce and strengthen our play in the African sub-region. It's very, very important. The market is very, very huge. Finally, private sector credit has shrunk in 2010, and the CBN governor has indicated that he doesn't ex expect to see a pickup until the first quarter of next year. What are UBA's loan books looking like? Um, what are your expectations for the next year? Yeah, uh, the, the pronouncement by the central bank governor is actually right because for some time the credits have not been growing and if anything at all they've been growing very, very slowly. Uh, we have seen a lot of competition for top quality credits uh, in Nigeria coming mostly from the corporate. Now for UBM, we've been able to grow our loan books year to date we have grown by close to about 10 percent uh, mostly at the corporate end. Uh, we think that uh, the slowdown in the growth will continue until next year but uh, we believe that uh, by next year when some of the reforms you know take firm root we are going to see major growth taking place but having said that you also find out that uh, there are some parts of the economy where you have uh, you know some form of growth for instance the central bank intervention funds for the small and medium scale enterprises, you are seeing some growth in that area. For the central bank intervention fund in the aviation and power sector, we also seen some development along those lines. So we believe that uh, uh, the, credit, uh, the credit system is going to expand. We are going to see more going into infrastructure. The power reform that uh, has just been launched, we are going to see quite a lot going into the infrastructure. So we think that next year is going to be a better year. This year, it will continue to drag slowly up to the end of the year.